aligned with camera crews Everywhere he goes is news Today is different Today is not the same Today I'll make the action Take snapshot into the light Snapshot into the light I'm shooting into the light Welcome to the campus of Notre Dame de Namur University and this special live broadcast to mark the 50th anniversary of the death of President John F. Kennedy. My name is Destiny Askew, and this broadcast is a production of Communications Department here at NDNU, specifically Digital Communications One. A class taught by our instructor, Mark Wright, the intent of the broadcast is twofold. First, we're trying to learn all about professional live broadcasting just the way it's done on TV, but now accessible to us thanks to Marvel's of laptop computing. <clears throat> and second, we realize that today is a very special time all across America, a day that marks an event that our parents' generation, so-called baby boomers, remember very well. An event about which our generation knows very little. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You'll excuse the fact that I'm out of breath, but about 10 or 15 minutes ago, a tragic thing from all indications at this point has happened in the city of Dallas. Let me quote to you this. And I hope you'll excuse me if I am out of breath. A bulletin, this is from the United Press from Dallas. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. They were riding in an open automobile when the shots were fired. The president, his limp body carried in the arms of his wife, Jacqueline, has rushed to Parkland Hospital. John Fitzgerald Kennedy was born on May 29, 1917 in Brookline, Massachusetts. He completed his education while attending Harvard University in 1936. In September 1941, at the age of 24, John joined the United States Navy. John was awarded medals for his heroics. Kennedy represented Massachusetts' 11th Congressional District in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1947 to 1953 as a Democrat. From 1953 until 1960, he served in the U.S. Senate until he was elected the 35th President of the United States by defeating Richard Nixon. He was the first and only Roman Catholic President elected until this day. JFK was the youngest elected in office at the age of 43 and was the second youngest President behind Teddy Roosevelt. During JFK's presidency, he participated in major events such as the Bay of Pigs invasion the Cuban Missile Crisis, the building of the Berlin Wall, the Space Race, the African American Civil Rights Movement, and the early stages of the Vietnam War. John F. Kennedy served his country until tragically being assassinated on November 22, 1963 in Dallas, Texas at the age of 46. Later that evening, a man by the name of Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested and accused of the assassination. I know nothing more than that, and I do request uh, for someone to come forward and to give me uh, a legal assistance. Did you kill the president? No, I have not been charged with that. In fact, nobody has said that to me yet. Uh, the first thing I heard about it was when the newspaper reporters in the hall uh, asked me that question. You have been. Nobody said what? Sir? You have been. Nobody. But before the trial could take place, a man by the name of Jack Ruby shot and killed him. Later, suspicions of a conspiracy theory arose, and an official investigation took place. Later that year, it was concluded by the Warren Commission that there was no conspiracy. Most Americans today believe that Oswald did not act alone in the assassination. Critics still argue that the Commission and the government have covered up crucial information pointing to a conspiracy. To this day, John Fitzgerald Kennedy's 50th birthday is still celebrated nationwide. To commemorate this very special 
today, we've invited a few guests who lived through that day to join us and share their experience. We're very pleased to have Mark Schiavenza, a San Carlos attorney specializing in trust and estate law a member and a member of the bar, of the bar, for, the bar almost for almost 40 years. 40 years. Mark, was Mark was 14 years old, old a freshman, a freshman at Fremont High, High School in Sunnyville, in Sunnyville November of 1963, 1963, and he remembers, and he remembers, that, he remembers day well. that day well. Mark, thanks Mark, for joining thanks us. For joining thank you, thank you. Prior to the assassination, what was your opinion of JFK? Well, of course, I was well, quite course young, I was quite but, young uh, but uh, I think we were, I all, think we were all very excited very about excited him as about president. He was, he was uh, uh, someone that we thought that would, be, uh, would, represent, uh, would a represent a big change in change the country, in the country motivate, motivate young people, young people uh, like, us uh, like us to be involved, be involved things like the Peace like Corps uh, and, uh, and other uh, initiatives, uh, initiatives that he, that he uh, introduced. Uh, introduced uh, we're quite excited. We're quite excited. Of course, it was. Of course, it was. You know, only halfway, halfway or so. Halfway or so first term. Term. So we really so had not really formed any judgments, any judgments uh, uh, particularly people uh, our age, uh, uh, as to uh, how effective how effective the president. How did you feel after you heard he had died? Well, we were all very. I mean, I think it was the most significant event in our lives uh, in, in terms of uh, public event. Uh, and we were all. Uh, uh, it, it really it, represented, it really represented uh, something that we something never, thought, that we would never thought would happen, and changed, and changed our, view our view of, of, uh, of the country, the country, and, and uh, uh, you know, our lives, our lives, and the culture, the culture. Uh, uh, that the, the that immediate reaction, the immediate reaction, was great sadness. Uh, uh, I can remember, I that, can weekend, remember that weekend, weekend, uh, uh, being. Uh, being uh, very, 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 quiet. very nothing quiet. happening. There's nothing happening. People not really People talking. Not really talking. Just, just sort of introspective, introspective and watching, and watching the events unfold. The events on unfold, unfold, unfold. unfold. Who do you think assassinated John F. Kennedy? Well, I, I think well, it's pretty I, clear I from, pretty the from the other, 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 killed him. Uh, uh, the the you know, I've you won, know, I won, I guess it's even a majority view, majority view who doubts, doubts that he acted that he entirely, acted entirely uh, uh, alone, uh, not, alone in terms not in terms of the actual, the actual uh, killing, uh, but killing, in terms, but of, in the terms of the plans. Uh, uh, I realize that's not the official position, position, but I think it is the majority <laughs> position, <laughs> position that we position don't really know of. Really know of. So, who do, you so think? who do you think linked up with him? Uh, well, you know, the... Um, uh, that's part of the problem. It's there's so many potential, you know, pro Castro, anti Castro, CIA, FBI, uh, mafia, uh, mafia, you know, uh, uh, and there's all there's sort all of sort of connections, connections, and, you know, you know uh, theories, uh, theories, and plausibility, and plausibility or, uh, or varying uh, degrees, degrees on all of them. So, so, you know, I just don't you know, think we do know, obviously. And I just feel uh, like just where feel there's, like enough, there's enough out there, out there that's, plausible, that's plausible, then maybe, then maybe something in fact, something in fact uh, did exist. Can you tell me more, tell me more about the actual moment that you were in? Like, what were you doing when you found out? I was uh, actually at my locker in high school, getting getting books for, books my, next for my next class, and, uh, and uh, you know, I heard you know, I heard uh, some guys talking some guys about, talking about, about it, it, and I thought it, it was I thought it was just a bad joke. A bad joke. Uh, uh, we have to remember have that to remember there were that you, there know, were, you know a lot of anti uh, uh, You know, people tend to think it was just everybody loved him. He thought he was great, but there really was a lot of anti candidates So you know, a bad joke like that was not surprising. When I got to class a few minutes later, there were several people crying, and that's when I realized it wasn't it wasn't the joke. All right, thanks, Mark, for your help today and. To help us understand help just, us what just what happened. My pleasure. My yeah. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. From adversity to mystery, the Kennedy assassination has caused several conspiracy theorists to look at the odds and ends. One of those memories takes take a look at the many details that compare Lincoln's and Kennedy's lives. Jalen. Gutierrez, Jeff Hartman, and James Northup show us how these two presidents are more similar than one would believe.
Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860. John F. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. The names Lincoln and Kennedy each contain seven letters. Both presidents were particularly concerned with civil rights. Both wives lost their children while living inside of the White House. Both presidents were shot on a Friday. Both presidents were shot in the head. Both were assassinated by Southerners and then succeeded by Southerners. Both successors were named Johnson, Andrew Johnson who succeeded Lincoln, and Lyndon Johnson who succeeded Kennedy. John Wilkes Booth was born in 1839. Lee Harvey Oswald was born in 1939. Both were assassins were known by three names and comprised of 15 letters. Booth ran from a theater and was caught in a warehouse. Oswald ran from a warehouse and was caught in a theater. Both were assassinated before their trials. that I'd really that experienced, I'd really experienced the, phenomena the phenomena of what grief really, really, really is. And I saw that and in I my saw teacher, that in my teacher when the news when came the over the speaker in the classroom. classroom. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and then, uh, and then uh, being, uh, sent being sent home, uh, we, all uh, we all walked home. And then my, and then my mother was at home, my father was a school teacher, so he was still at school. But I saw the grief on my mother's face and her tears, and just realized how deep a situation really was for the country. Do you think that there was a plot or organization to kill President Kennedy? Let me say this. Let me say this. Um, um, this, whole this whole issue, issue brings up brings the, up absolute, the absolute, absolute personal necessity, personal necessity in life in to life question, to authority. question authority. And the, and the, the explanations, the explanations uh, that, have uh, given, that have been given, uh, that are the simple uh, explanations of this event, of this event. I think still I have think questions still have that are unanswered. Uh, there uh, are, there are, there's evidence, there's evidence for, for when you have termites, when you have termites in a building or in, a building in your foundation, your foundation, you know, little you know, shavings. shavings. Well, there's shavings, well, there's shavings in, this in this issue. And in this in particular this issue and every, issue, every other every issue that's major, major, there's three signs that you should that keep you asking should keep questions. questions. And that is and if that there's is if fear, there's fear or, intimidation or intimidation or character, or assassination, character assassination, which means which if you're means a question, you're answer, a question asker, answer asker, uh, uh, they try to make you appear as if people should be afraid of you. Or they try to intimidate you away from asking questions. Or they say that you're a bad person because you're asking questions. The Many of the official explanations of Vincent Bugliosi's books, I think there's reasons that we really need to keep asking the questions. What affected the Kennedy family? Kennedy family have on the nation? Uh, before the uh, assassination, assassination uh, uh, they were the they closest, were the closest thing, thing I think America, I think America has, America had, has to, had to uh, royalty, uh, royalty as leadership. As leadership. Um, um, Jackie, Jackie Kennedy's, Kennedy's whole demeanor, whole demeanor her, her, her the way she, her dressed, the way she dressed, created, created fashion, statements fashion statements for, for, for the women of the country. The um, um, Jack Kennedy's, Jack Kennedy's uh, demeanor, uh, demeanor and his, uh, and his, his approach his was, approach modeled, was and modeled and idealized by, 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 uh, by uh, many uh, of the society. Of the society. Uh, post uh, post uh, assassination, uh, assassination uh, 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 those things those actually things continued, actually to, continued grow. to grow, and that became and that they became, call it they the Camelot, the Camelot uh, uh, experience. Uh, experience. That. Uh, that uh, uh, because of the brevity, of, the brevity his, of, of, his his, term, of his term, and when this and happened, when this in, happened his, in, his in his first term, uh, it, everything uh, got, everything got, got, uh, got uh, uh, frozen, uh, in time. frozen in time, and those, and models, those models even grew even bigger. bigger. And so, and so uh, I, I think, uh, I, I think the, Kennedys the Kennedys really still, really still to, this to this day have an effect, have on, an effect on, on what on people think a president and a first lady should really act. All right, thank you, Mr. Sotomayor.
great memories and thanks for helping us understand what happened. Thank you. <coughs> At this moment, we want to take notice of a very special moment. With this bell, ladies and gentlemen, we mark the exact moment, 10.30 Pacific time, 12.30 Central time, of the assassination of John Fitzgerald Kennedy. November 22nd, 2013, 50 years later, we ask that you join us in the, in the moment of silence. His legacy is, is that of youth, hope, and potential. His charming life, smile, and presidency won't ever be forgotten. Fifty years ago on this day, we lost a leader, fighter, and believer. We may be the new generation, but we know what it means to be a nation in awe. Myself, Jenny De La Cruz, and Hannah Winyan take a look at how people reacted to news of his death and where they were at at the moment. He captured the imagination of a lot of people, um, probably because he was young and glamorous and handsome and all of that, and it just seemed like so much potential. I think that still people compare themselves or compare leaders to Kennedy. Um, I think that Bill Clinton clearly felt uh, a connection and felt that he was uh, maybe fulfilling some of that potential. flashed across the television screen and at that point it was like I was um, I don't know cast back into time when I was in geometry class and it came over the PA system because that's how we heard about things in our high school because that's where I was and I was standing at the pencil sharpener I mean it was a, it really impacted all of us and so we started listening to the radio announcer uh, commentary about it, and we were stunned. The whole class was stunned. And I remember they dismissed school. We all went home, and it was the middle of the day. And it was kind of eerie because we all watched television for at least three or four days. Oh, I can well, I guess if you asked most people, I think that the answer would be that everything that seemed to stop time stood still for that one day when the news got out of the shot. Like a lemon drops high above the chimney top, that's where you find me. Thank you for being a part of our broadcast honoring the life and legacy that is John F. Kennedy. We want to thank Mark Giavenza, Greg Sotomayor, and everyone on the Notre Dame Dana Mir campus. Also, we want to thank the Communications Department and Mark Wright for creating a memorable broadcast in Kennedy's honor. His life continues to live on. I'm Destiny Askew. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Saw my pain washed out in the rain and broken glass. Saw the blood run from my veins, but you saw no fall. 
No cracks in my heart And you knelt beside My hope torn apart But the ghosts that we knew Will flicker from view And will live a long life So give me hope in the darkness That I will see the light Cause oh, they gave me such a fright But I will hold as long as you like Just promise me we'll be alright